hello guys in this lesson we are going to see how to add radio buttons that works for uh, one purpose for example here we have a search box we are going to add a radio button to choose uh, we will add uh, several radio buttons to choose ID or name or email or phone number by uh, those options we can go for search so first thing I'm going to do is just move this search box uh, search button to the right side so we have to add remember we have to add a group box you know we are grouping everything used in this group box now here we can uh, set some alignments which matching with the uh, space we can set group box text into search by like that then uh, we are going to add radio buttons to here we can search radio button in the uh, toolbox the first one let's say by ups text will be by identity and also we have to add the name identifier for this radio button we can say radio button identity all right now the next radio button we can say this are uh, this identity uh, the the name for this radio button as a uh, uh, what we can say by name radio button name and also the text radio button name is the ID text will be a uh, by name right the next one we don't have to search customer by their email address so I'm going to just uh, remove it it will be difficult otherwise last one will be the phone number radio button phone no and the text up house by uh, phone no and also uh, the ID for this radio button will be something like radio button phone okay now we are going to see something by running Here, if I select one and if I choose another one you can see the previous radio box radio button has been deselected that's happening because of this group box when you are adding radio buttons into a group box this feature will be automatically happen we don't have to manually write codes for to deselect and uh, identify selection and this thing will be automatically done 
with this group box remember you have to add group box and inside that you can place radio buttons so uh, that's fine how we can uh, identify what what radio button was selected so in this search button what we are going to call this so let's group our search box into here search button has been moved i think uh, let's keep that away it's fine i'm still designing my code that's why uh here in this button click we can go ahead and see uh if Uh, firstly let uh, declare some variable boolean bool uh, id search selected is equals to radio button identity dot check Now this will return true if the radio button identity has been selected. This will return false if uh, radio button identity is not selected. Similarly, we can do this for other things. Google, uh, we are searching using name search selected is equals to radio button name dot checked bool the uh, we are searching by phone number phone no search selected is equals to radio button phone dot checked all right now one of these radio button is selected we can do a different kind of if statement we can say if id search selected that means we can simply give this variable name that is executed if this variable is true only then else if we can say uh, name search selected the last one we can say else if remember you had to use else if not as because we are currently checking variable names phone no search selected now we can uh, show some message box prior to identify uh, what search option has been selected message box dot show I will say uh, here uh, ID identity search selected. I can move this to the name search selected if we statement. So we can say name search selected. In the last one, we can say phone search selected. We are doing this to ensure what is happening in the code. I did this as selected. Now, if I select by name and search, name search selected by phone, no phone search selected okay uh, that is it for this lesson and i'll see in the next lesson thank you